hospital leaders, gun violence is the leading cause of death for children. And tonight, health care executives say they're pledging to use their power to issue a call to end violence. Action News 5's Stephanie Douglas spoke with a Baptist Memorial Hospital official about why they're speaking out. Stephanie. We'll check this out in the New York Times just this past week. Jason Little, CEO of Baptist Memorial, joined nearly 50 other hospital CEOs in signing a pledge to curb gun related deaths. But what resources will hospital leaders use to tackle the issue? One innocent life that is taken. It is a public health emergency. Executives at Baptist Memorial Hospital are speaking out to address another epidemic leading to deaths among children, gun violence. It's no longer seat belts in cars. It's no longer things that can be looked at like secondhand smoke in restaurants. We're looking at something now that people are actually using guns, whether accidental death or intentional. Keith Norman, Baptist Memorial Vice President, says this is the first time the hospital participated in the National Health Care CEO's Council annual pledge to prevent gun violence. As the Bluff City ranks as the most dangerous city in America, Baptist Memorial Hospital leaders say they will use their power, voices, and resources to curb what they say is an epidemic in the community. Also encourage um, proper legislation in spaces where there's an opportunity to move things in the right direction based on research. According to research, this year, Labonish Children's Hospital has already treated more than 22 patients for gunshot wounds and a total of 149 last year. Data Keith Norman believes creates a public health emergency. I would want something done about it. Well, I think every parent has that right to cry out to the rest of us and say, join me in this because it may not be your child, but it's my child. Collectively, it's our child. So I do think it's an emergency now. Now, in addition to nearly the 50 other CEOs across the country who signed the pledge this week, the council plans to double that number next year. Reporting live in studio, Stephanie Douglas, Action News 5.